Hey guys, I'm Chantel and welcome to my very first bookshelf tour. So I thought I would take you around and show you a little bit of what's all on my bookshelves. I love watching other people's tours of bookshelves. Um, so I thought a long time about how I wanted to go about this. I'm not gonna go and like pull out every single book that I have on my shelves, but we're gonna kind of like go shelf by shelf and I'll show you how I have things arranged. For the most part, I've tried to keep it so that the books that I have read are the visible ones. Um, that's not always the case. Uh, and then uh, other than all the books that are out here, I also have my uh, cart filled of bo with books. That is my TBR cart that I choose my books from each month. And then as well, I have one spot kind of over there um, by the TV where I have like my current TBR for the month. So those are the books that I'm working on. So let's just jump right into the tour and I will figure out how to get this tripod high enough to show you the top shelves. Okay, so the top shelves on all of our bookcases have games. Um, I'll just show you which ones we have here. My husband is big into gaming and we um, have a lot of variety, I think. And a lot of these the kids play as well. And then in addition here, we have some of our bigger books that actually come over the edge. So we have maps and then a big trees book and then another atlas. So those ones, unfortunately, I would like them to be stored lower so the kids could use them, but because they stick out, it's kind of awkward to have them on the lower shelves. On this next shelf, there is a lot of classics. I've been purchasing a lot of these companion library books as well. We have a kid's Bible, um, my study Bible, a spider plant that I got for my aunt. And then over here are a bunch of classics as well. This shelf I arranged by color. Um, I guess mostly just the left side because the right side is white and black. And then we have already expanded past this, but these are some of our middle grade books. Um, and then I have a bunch over here that I need to figure out where to put them or what I should do there. I don't have all our middle grade books on the shelf because um, it, some of them aren't up to my standard, I guess. Then over here we have a bunch of Dear Canada and Royal Diaries books, as well as these I Am Canada. These are like the boy version of the Dear Canada. Um, Heidi, because it didn't fit anywhere else. And then our Little House books. These are the Bobsy Twins. I bought these because it felt like a flashback to my childhood, but my daughter doesn't actually like them, so I should probably get rid of these. Then, of course, a roll of Kleenex because, or toilet paper to use as Kleenex, because I have kids and there's always runny noses. And then our collection of Christian Heroes books. And in the cupboard here, I have a lot of our homeschool supplies. I actually have a full video showing, like, our favorite supplies that are in here, but just to give you a brief little overview. Um, I have my Bible in here as well, and a bunch of notebooks and coloring books, and um, a lot of our craft stuff is in here. I really like this because the kids can access it, and it holds a lot of stuff, but it doesn't look really messy, even if it is really messy in there. One thing I should mention is the top here, I've got a globe, a Monastera plant, I believe it is. That's for my mom. Um, a K, another globe, and that's all we have up there right now. Okay, this is our like mini shelf, and I should have said at the beginning, these are IKEA Billy bookcases. So we have Risk, which my husband used to play a lot in high school. And then over here we have a few Hardy Boys. I'm planning on collecting these as my son gets a little older. And then we've got like some vintage spelling books from schools from, I don't even know what year, like really old ones that I got at an antique store. And then a bunch of the Mandy books. These here are kind of just like a continuation of the shelf of the middle grade books. Um, yeah, I really need to figure out how to better organize this part. And then another plant I got for my mom. I have no idea what that is. And then this is a random assortment of poetry and one historical um, biography kind of book, I guess. And then this shelf is my daughter's 
stack, like her TBR stack. These are books that she would like to read um, this year in while she's in grade five. And then it's kind of like chaos over here. So originally I had my Spurgeon books taking up this space and um, some Bible books as well. And then the toddler decided this was his section. So we have a bunch of his books here. And um, then I have like cookbooks and random big books over here and then toddler toys. I do have a different place. I think I would like these to go. Um, so it just is a matter of whether or not he agrees with me or if this ends up just getting taken over again. At the top of this one, we have more games. Castle Panic is one we play a lot together as a family. That's a co-op game. Flashpoint is a new co-op game we recently got. And Colt Express is one we play a lot too. This one, you're all um, bandits on a train and trying to get the most money and shooting each other and punching each other and it's hilarious. Then this kind of starts a little bit of a fantasy section. Um, I try to not have books on here that I haven't read yet, but I didn't have anywhere else to put these. So I haven't read these, but they're, they're here. And I have book one on my TBR cart, but I haven't picked it yet. Then we've got like random currency from various trips. We've got like some money from South Africa, Mexico, the States, England, Uganda, just like there's probably only like fifty dollars worth of stuff there maybe uh it might be generous but it's a cool memento and sanderson's stormlight archive my husband has read these i have not hopefully i will this winter that's my goal and then over here is just more big books that kind of don't really fit anywhere else um yeah there's some things i really would like to organize better but hopefully on my next update when I do this again sometime. This next shelf is mostly middle grade. Um, we've got, yeah, a bunch of, I don't know exactly what category these would be under, but this is all like fantasy. I guess these are technically YA. A red wall stuff, some Christian fantasy, a bunch of Narnia um, editions that I have, and then some Tolkien books that don't fit anywhere else right now. And then more middle grade. I do have book one too, but it's currently being lent out to a friend. Um, aloe plant. And then some more fantasy, middle grade fantasy here. Books three and four of this series are getting published in these new editions, I think in September. So I'm gonna buy a three and four right away. And then furthermore, and I've got Witchwood that I'm just finishing up right now. Once I'm done, it will come here. And yeah, I guess this section could use more books. But also once I add more books to my shelf, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with all my plants because I have a cat that would like to eat them otherwise or play in the dirt anyway. And then we have another closed bookcase here and this is more school books and supplies. And then in the bottom there is um, a microscope and just various books that my kids enjoy reading or um, give me different ideas and stuff. A couple more games. This one is actually a new one. This is a Sherlock Holmes detective um, game that I really enjoy. We had a different edition of it. There's a couple different ones. Uh, we had one that we borrowed to friends and I'm really excited to do a new one. I'm saving that for the fall it gives you like different mysteries to solve and then you have newspapers to look at to try to figure out um, like what the mystery is and how to solve it and who did it. Um, I really enjoy that one. Then this shelf is like mostly I guess YA stuff. Um, this giraffe is actually from Uganda when we went there a few years ago. I've got the Divergent Trilogy which was my first introduction to dystopian books years ago and I really enjoyed it um, but I don't know if I'll ever reread them or whatever but we'll see and then we've got various seashells from different adventures in here this was from Mexico um, I don't know where all these things are from but just various things in there oh this is a dried 
plum or pear, I think, from an orchard near our place. Random stuff. Then this is the only Robin Hob that I've ever found used. So I bought it, but it's like book three in a series, so I don't know when I'll actually read it. We've got The Oath, Hunger Games, and the only two books in the Scythe series that I own. Some more like fantasy stuff. Um, Harry Potter, obviously. Um, these ones are like books that I've read that I'm, I'm not sure what I think about my kids reading these. Um, so they're up a little higher so they can't or won't necessarily just grab them right now. Another random plant from my mom that I don't know what it's called. Oh, this is just a dust jacket. That's a book that I'm currently reading. And then Aragon books. Uh, book two is currently on my TBR cart. And then if you watch any of my videos, you'll notice this is generally where I sit. So we have a little bit of a Tolkien shrine here, Lord of the Rings shrine. These are my husband's additions. He's had these for a long time. This is an old vintage camera that doesn't work that he bought me one year for Christmas. And then I found this Two Towers edition at a library sale and couldn't pass it up. And then this is my copy of the books plus The Hobbit. And then a little bit of a Sanderson section here. Over here is The Keeper of the Lost Cities, um, minus book one, which my daughter has, and book three, which is on my TBR cart. A few random books. This is technically supposed to be my um, most liked section, but this one is like most hated. Um, I was gonna use that for a future video. So that's why that's there. These books I love. This one, not so much. It should actually not be here. And then Sherlock. So then behind this chair is a bunch of books of my kids. I want them easily accessible. So we've got a lot of Roald Dahl, a lot of Beverly Cleary, just random books. These are um, historical fiction books based on the Moose Jaw Tunnels, which are pretty close to us. There's a basket with more books plus kids' Bibles. And then a bunch of random big books that we have. A lot of these we really like. And then I also have this collection of like junior classic stories. I'm not sure if we need to keep that anymore or not. And then we don't own a ton of picture books anymore, but these are some of our favorites. Then, like I said, um, right under the TV stand here, this is kind of like my current reading, about to read, books from my TBR, stuff like that. And then in here, um, I keep a bunch of other random books. And my this is my reading log and my um, book sleeves for, you know, like when a person actually goes out in the world and takes your book along. And then this is what my husband's currently reading. I mean, the covers on these things though, you guys, like what is that? And his Bible and stuff. I've gotten a lot of questions over the years about this map that we have on our wall. It is, um, it's actually just a map, like a paper map that I bought from Walmart. And then I used Mod Podge to put it on a canvas and I meant for it to be smooth, but it just didn't work that way. And I really like how it turned out. And then when we moved out of our last house, um, it had an unfortunate accident where it met the corner of a TV, but I just like mod podged that back on. And from afar, you can like actually barely even tell that happened. Oh, and over on my side, this lamp here is from Ikea. There's our TV, and we've got another Ikea lamp here. There's a couple more games and a basket that I don't know what to do with. And then over here is kind of like my classics shelf. I have not read all of these at all, um, but eventually I think I would like to. Um, honestly though, I was thinking about doing a classics book tag soon, and I was realizing like I don't really like very many classics, so... Yeah, I don't think that would be that great of a video, but who knows, maybe it would be. Um, and then this is mostly, I guess, nonfiction, mostly Christian nonfiction, actually. Um, a variety there. 
a lot of really good ones here. My little succulent plant on the Nancy Drew shelf. I think I only have like eight more Nancy Drew books that I need until we have the entire series. My friend is collecting like only the old Nancy Drew, but I'm not being that picky. We've also got some like the newer shiny covers as well. And then this is my Agatha Christie shelf. Um, there's a couple there as well. Uh, I have a bunch of them on my TBR cart. So hopefully in the next like year or two, all of them can be out here and I've read all the ones I own. And this is a jar of seashells that Jared and I picked up on our honeymoon when we went to Cancun years and years ago. Another aloe plant. I used to have a massive aloe plant and it was just like falling over. It was so big. It was like Mexican sized aloe. And so I took a bunch of babies out and then killed the big plant. And then over here, I have my L.M. Montgomery books that are in the Tundra covers. I love these. So I'm just like slowly collecting them when I find them. And this is her biography, House of Dreams, which I love the, I love the illustrations in here, but honestly, I guess her life was just kind of depressing and it made me not like her books as much, I think, which I know is not a popular opinion, but that's how it happened. So I don't know, I've contemplated getting rid of this book. This awesome alpaca llama pillow I got from Holly from Lovely Day with Holly. I think her gifting must be uh, gifts because she always buys like awesome things. And then behind this chair is kind of a disaster. Oh look, a cat toy and a ba uh, baby toy. So this shelf and this shelf are mostly books that I haven't read that I've hauled that um, I'm kind of waiting to go on my TBR cart with a few exceptions. There's um, some classics here that I should actually move up to the classics shelf. And yeah, all these I haven't read. These ones I have read all of, um, but I'm not sure where to display them on my shelf because none of them really fit into any categories that I currently have. And yeah, and then all of these I have not read yet. And since we're on the floor already, we'll just go up from here. This is a um, World War II collection of books that I got from a thrift store for like $2 a few years ago. And I don't know, my husband's really into World War II, so I thought that would be interesting to have, but honestly, we don't use them at all. So those should probably go. Over here is a stack of books that I need to haul and it is too deep. So, you know, there's that. And my son was looking at one of them already. Up here is a minor or like a small mystery section. I haven't read any Trixie Belden, but I've heard such good things. Um, I want to read book one and then get my daughter to read it as well. And then I have some of my number one ladies detective agency collection here. Some is on my TBR cart. And continuing with mystery, I have the, um, whatever this series is called, The Sweetness at the Bottom of the Pie, that series anyway. Then I have a succulent I got from my cousin um, that is like actually doing really well. I thought that would totally die right away. And the turquoise table, which I got from Holly for my birthday this year. Up here we have a bunch of uh, photo books. I haven't made any since uh, 2014. So, you know, we're in need of some new ones. This is when we adopted Ephraim, um, a camera that I never use. This is our Wheel of Time selection. Um, I have officially decided I am never going to read Wheel of Time because I do not like books with tons of characters and that's what I hear about this all the time. So yeah, my husband's reading through, through those, but I am so not interested. And then we'll finish off with a couple more games. Uh, Fuse is a lot of fun. Okay, so there you have it. That is a tour of our bookcase. Um, I hope that was a little bit interesting. I really enjoy watching bookshelf bookcase tours, um, but I don't like it when everyone shows every single book. So hopefully those highlights were good. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed it, I will probably do like another one in six months when books change. That made me realize that there's quite a few I want to get rid of. And as I read more and enjoy more and more will get put on the shelf. And yeah, 
So thanks for watching guys and I would love it if you would let me know if there was a book on here that caught your eye or based on like the books that we enjoy if there's one that you would like to recommend.